We want to welcome you this morning to The Gathering, our online service. It is our hope that throughout the worship and the sharing of His Word, you would encounter a God of love and hope. Good morning, church. We just welcome you to this Resurrection Sunday. In Acts, it says God breathes life into His people. And so, Spirit of God, I just want to pray that on this morning, the morning when you have risen again, you have risen from the grave. Hallelujah, Lord. Spirit of God, breathe your life into lungs this morning. Breathe life into your people. Minister to our hearts. Speak to our hearts and our minds. Spirit of God, we just worship you. We give you all of the praise and all of the glory this morning. We love you, Jesus. And I want to welcome you into this worship space. Let's worship him together.
we thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Oh, behold the Lamb. Behold the Lamb. Oh, you are worthy, Jesus. Come on, let's sing through that chorus one more time. In your lounge room, let's just lift this up. Thank you, Jesus. Behold the Lamb, the story of redemption written on His hands. Jesus, You will reign forevermore. The victory is Yours. We sing Your praise. Endless hallelujah to Your holy thank you. We want to thank you that you're a good father. You love us. You care for us so much that you sent your son to die on a cross. And today, Lord, we've been reminded of the victory that we have in you, Jesus. Of the victory that we have. Oh, Lord Jesus. The victory we have in our own lives, in our circumstances. We have victory in the name of Jesus. Oh, you're so good, Lord. You are so good. In every lounge room, Lord, I just pray that your name will be lifted up. In every lounge room today, Lord, I pray that the praise will be on their lips. Your praise will be on their lips. Jesus. Oh, thank you. Better is one day in your courts than many in us, Lord Jesus.
every person that's watching, Lord, if they have a need, I pray that that need, Lord, that it will just be lifted up. That you would answer their prayers, Father God. We thank you that you're a glorious God. In your name we pray. Amen. Come on, church, why don't you check this out? We are created for connection, both to God and to each other. If there is anything we can do to help you connect to Jesus or to community, please contact the church office. Shoot us a message via our Facebook page or jump on our website and go to the contact page and flick us a message. Welcome to The Gathering. During this season, our giving needs to look a little different. And there are three ways you can do this. Number one, online. Number two, through the Tithely app. And number three, Cash or FPOS. We want to thank you for your continual partnership with the vision in the bringing of your offering. And we pray that God will continue to pour out his blessings upon your life. Well, good morning, family and friends. Welcome to the gathering this morning. We Hope that you are staying connected during this time with your eyes and hope fully centered on Jesus. If you're tuning in today for the first time, we'd love to welcome you. And it's our hope that as you've just been experiencing worship, that you would have encountered the presence of a living and loving God. Well, it's Easter, Resurrection Sunday, a a time where the world may consider but for a moment this Jesus character But what we, the Jesus followers, celebrate every day is that Jesus is risen. It's what sets Jesus apart from all the other so-called gods and religions. We don't just follow and believe the teachings of a good man, of a dead man. We have relationship with a living, risen Savior whose name is, is Jesus. And everything we now enjoy, everything we now enjoy and have access to in God is all because of Jesus. You know, even if you're not a Christian, it's still all because of Jesus. The universe you sit in, the planet that you stand upon, it's all because of Jesus. uh, John said these words in John chapter 1, verse 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, through Jesus, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. What we celebrate today is that it's all because of Jesus, our living, risen Savior. Death could not hold him down. A tomb could not hold him down. Your sin, my sin, could not hold him down. He is risen. He is victorious. He is triumphant. And he is glorious. Amen. He has overcome. He is risen. John chapter 20, verse 1 through to 8. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over, looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed.
They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified and on the third day be raised again. Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here for he has risen. Resurrection Sunday, what we celebrate today is a risen Saviour. And because he is risen, because of Jesus, we now have forgiveness. Because of Jesus, we now have redemption. Because of Jesus, we now have sonship. Because of Jesus, we now have access to Father God. Because of Jesus, we are saved from God's wrath. Because of Jesus, we are now made righteous. Because of Jesus, we have a living hope. And because of Jesus, we have healing and we have peace. Because of Jesus, we have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for the price that you paid. Thank you, Jesus, for the way that you made. What we have access to today, the effect, is all because of Jesus, the cause. Because of Jesus, we are saved from God's wrath. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 through 11. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him or because of Jesus? For if while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Thank you, Jesus. You know, God doesn't hate you this morning. He loves you, but he does hate sin. But because of Jesus, we are saved from God's anger and wrath towards the sin in our hearts and lives. Jesus took our place and God's wrath has been averted all because of Jesus. Because of Jesus, we have forgiveness. 1 John chapter 2, verse 12. I am writing to you who are God's children because your sins have been forgiven. How? Through Jesus. You know, this morning, we don't have forgiveness because you realize that you needed it, because you realize that you've done some things wrong and then you realize that there's some consequences and fallout to the things that you've done wrong. No, we have forgiveness this morning because of Jesus, because he initiated it. He made the way even before you realized you needed him. He paid the price even before you, you wanted him to or needed that you needed him to. All your sins, past, present and future, have been forgiven all because of Jesus. Because of Jesus, we have redemption. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 through to 25. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned. That's all of us. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of blood 
to be received by faith. You couldn't, I couldn't, we didn't pay our way back. But because of Jesus, he paid the price. We've been redeemed. We've been purchased, bought back, paid with a great price. It's all because of Jesus. Because of Jesus, we've been made righteous. We've been made right before God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. We now stand right before God, not because we are good, because we most certainly are not. We are, we are not good, even on our best days. Our best is as filthy rags, as putrid and unmentionable things. That's our, that's our best. Our best falls so short, but the reason we now stand right before God is because of Jesus. Because of Jesus, we are made right. Because of Jesus, we're accepted. Thank you, Jesus. Because of Jesus, we now have peace with God. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of Jesus, we have sonship. We are now his children. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. It's in Christ Jesus that we become children. John chapter 1, verse 12. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. We are his children, sons and daughters, accepted. We can now boldly approach the throne of grace in time of need. We can jump up onto the lap of Father God, as it were. We have been accepted. We are his kids all because and through and in and of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Thank you, Jesus, that you made a way. Thank you, Jesus, that you're a risen Savior. Because of Jesus, we have access to God. Colossians chapter 1, verse 21 to 23. Once you were alienated from God and you were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior. But now he has reconciled you by Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Because of Jesus, you've been reconciled by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith, established and firm and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. Because of Jesus, we who were once distant, separated, excluded from God have now been brought near by the blood of Jesus. Because of Jesus, we have a living hope. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again into a living hope. How? Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Because of Jesus, we have a living hope. Because of Jesus, we are victorious. 1 Corinthians Chapter 15, verse 55 to 57. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The good news is that it's not because of you and thank God for that because we can't. It is, however, all, all, not in part, it's all because of Jesus. It's not limited to or affected by your inability. It's all because of Jesus' ability and what he has done for us on our behalf on the cross. 
that he took our place so that we now could take everything that he is. Thank you, Jesus, that you made a way when there was no way. Thank you, Jesus, that you paid a price that we could not pay. Everything. Everything. Everything we now enjoy in God is all because of Jesus and what he did for us upon the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Now we're going to come and celebrate communion this morning. I just, I just love Resurrection Sunday and just celebrating communion together. So we remember the great lengths, as we spoke about on Good Friday, the great lengths that Jesus went to so that we could now enjoy this, that we could now be made right, that we could now live victoriously, that, that we could have a living hope, all because, all because, all because of Jesus. I want to read to you a, a passage of Scripture from Romans, Romans chapter 5, starting at verse 1 and through to verse 11. I'm going to read this morning from the Passion Paraphrase. Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Now faith in Jesus transfers God's righteousness to us. And he now declares us flawless in his eyes. This means we can now enjoy true and lasting peace with God. All because of what our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, has done for us. Our faith guarantees us permanent access into this marvellous kindness that has given us a perfect relationship with God. What incredible joy bursts forth within us as we keep on celebrating our hope of experiencing God's glory. But that's not all. Even in times of trouble, we have a joyful confidence, knowing that our pressures will develop in us patient endurance. And patient endurance will refine our character and our proven character leads us back to hope. And this hope is not a disappointing fantasy because we can now experience the endless love of God cascading into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who lives in us. For when the time was right, the anointed one came and died to demonstrate his love for sinners, to you and I, who were entirely helpless, weak and powerless to save themselves. Now, who of us would dare to die for the sake of a wicked person? We can all understand if someone was willing to die for a truly noble person. But Christ proved God's passionate love for us by dying in our place while we were still lost and ungodly. And there is still much more to say of his unfailing love for us. For through the blood of Jesus, we have heard the powerful declaration you are now righteous in my sight. And because of the sacrifice of Jesus, you will never experience the wrath of God. So if while we were still enemies, God fully reconciled us to himself through the death of his son, then something greater than friendship is ours. Now that we are at peace with God and because we share in his resurrection life, how much more will we be rescued from sin's dominion? And even more than that, we overflow with triumphant joy in our new relationship of living in harmony with God. All because of Jesus Christ. All because of Jesus Christ. Everything that we now enjoy is because of Jesus because he paid the price, because he made the way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we on this Resurrection Sunday, I guess just that little bit more acutely, lean into 
what you did for us upon the cross, what you did for us. You gave your life, your best, in exchange for our worst so that we could enjoy access to a loving Father. Thank you, Jesus. And the night before Jesus went to the cross to pay that price, he gathered together with his disciples in a, in a room and began to explain to them that which he was about to do for them and for us, for sins of all mankind for all time. And he took the bread and he, and he broke it, gave thanks, and he said, this is my body. It's going to be broken for you. I'm going to pay the price for you. And he said, I want you to, I want you to take it and, and I want you to eat it. I want you to take me into yourself. And, 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 and as you do, I want you to stop and just remember me. Just remember the great lengths that I went to for you. Just remember what those great lengths made way for so that you can now enjoy being victorious, having a living hope, being, being made right with God, being a, a child of God. I want you to stop and pause and remember. And in your living room, in your lounge room, at the, at the dining table, wherever you, you sit this morning, I want you to take a moment as, as, as you take the bread be thankful and remember what he's done for us. Let's eat. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the same way he took the cup, he said, this is my blood, the blood of a new covenant, a new deal, a new way that I've made for you. I want you to take this cup, which is my blood that's poured out for you, paid the price for you. I want you to take it and I want you to remember me this morning. Let's remember. Let's drink. This morning we Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you willingly embraced the cross, that you willingly shouldered the burden, the weight, and the filth of all mankind, the evil, the sickness, the disease of sin you carried and took upon yourself. You paid the price that was not yours to pay. You made a way that we could not make. You made us right. You gave us access. You gave us forgiveness. You made us a child. You clothed us with a robe. You welcomed us home. And this morning we stop on this Resurrection Sunday and remember we don't remember a, a good man. We remember and celebrate a risen Saviour. Jesus Christ, that you are Lord and Lord of all. We give you thanks and praise this morning for your goodness, for your mercy, for the great lengths that you went to to redeem us, to rescue us, to come looking for us, that you turned up everything to come and find us. This morning we give you thanks. And we remember that it's not just in part, it's all all because of Jesus. Everything we now enjoy in God is all because of Jesus. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Well, before we finish, I, I'm not sure who's, who's watching today and maybe you've tuned in, but you've been on a journey and been in shutdown and maybe you've been beginning to, th been beginning to think about life and what life is really about and you've been on a journey and started to ask some Great questions which have brought you to watching this online this morning has brought you to ask some questions about Jesus. This morning, I want to tell you that Jesus came for you. And today, if you want to receive all that he has for you, Jesus invites you in. He came for you. He came looking for you. He paid all those things that, that we just spoke about. He did that for you even before you knew you needed it. 
And this morning, if you would acknowledge the sins that you have committed, recognized your need for Jesus, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. If that's you today, no matter where you are in, in, your, in your lounge room, uh, sitting at the kitchen bench, I invite you to pray this prayer with me this morning. Come on, if that's you this morning, pray this together with me now. Jesus, I come as I am and declare that I am a sinner in need of your salvation. I confess my sins before you and ask for your help to turn from those sins. I believe that you took what I deserved when you died on the cross and rose again three days later. I believe you did this to make a way for salvation. And I ask you to come right now and make me new. Thank you, Jesus, for the great lengths that you went to. Thank you, Jesus, for the price that you paid. And I ask you right now, and I confess you as Lord, come into my life, I pray, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen, Amen. If you prayed that prayer at home right now, you just say, Amen, Jesus. Amen, Amen, Amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer right now up on the screen are some ways of you getting in contact with us. There's people all over Calandra right now clapping their hands for you. We'd love to hear from you and help you on this exciting new journey. Amen. He is risen. Come on, family. Everything that we have, everything that we now enjoy, everything that we now celebrate is all because of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He is risen. Amen. And because he is risen, to life we have life in him. Well, have a great week, everyone. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. Live large and love well. Thank you for joining us today. We pray that you would live encouraged and inspired to be all God has called you to be. Have a blessed week.